and at about 3.30, 4, 4.15, that's when we were having our lunch. And so after that point, I said, you know what, let me just rest. Um, let me rest here on the couch. Wake me up after one hour or two hours because I thought maybe now everything has calmed mm. down. So I slept off and I think I woke up at about 6.45 because my uncle is the one who came in and woke me up and he said, hey, I didn't want to bother you uh, because, um, you know, I thought maybe you needed the rest. Yeah. yeah. But then at that point that I was asleep, I didn't know what was happening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I didn't know what my hubby was doing, what my friend right, Chris was right. doing, or my cousin, you know, and his brother. I didn't know what they were doing. So at about 6.45, my uncle has come home. He's trying to have a meal. So we hear a knock at the gate. Mm -hmm. And at that point, you know, we didn't know who it was. And because of what had happened during the day, we weren't so sure yes, what to, open the yeah, what to very, do, you yeah. know. Um, but then it kept on. The knock at the gate kept on. And then my uncle went around and he tried to, you know, eavesdrop and see what exactly uh, it could have been. And then he came back and said, um, guys, I think they're asking us all to get out, so get out of the house. Mm -hmm. So one of my other cousins as well was asleep, so they had to wake him up, you know. So everybody now is out. Yeah, so yeah. we're now outside the house and then they tell us, um, has any of you been taking pictures or videos or whatever? You know, because we now didn't know what was going yes. on. These were police officers um, who were asking questions. And right. there were quite a number, actually. There were mm -hmm. about eight or ten. Who came to the house. Yeah, to, who to came to the house, yeah. yeah. And, you know, we, we didn't know what to say. So they just said, uh, did any of you take pictures? Um, so when we went outside the gate now, they were walking towards the gate and we had to follow them. Um, so when we got outside the gate, they said, um, did any of you take pictures? We said, uh, yeah, we took some pictures with our phones and some videos. Mm -hmm. So they collected all our phones and then asked each one of us, you know, to get onto the police car. We got onto the police car, so they drove us towards uh, the palace area mm -hmm. where the scene had been. And then there, I think the person who was in charge, who had given the directive to go and or come to a house, yeah. uh, said, uh, are these the people who have been taking all these videos, videos and pictures? Yeah. And I think the officer who had come home said, yeah, we have their phones here. And then he said, take them to take the police station. In. So, okay. you know, we were driven to the police station. And what, is, what is going um, through your mind? Probably you're thinking, you know, this is just going to be a few minutes of yeah, you know, questions. Um, you know, sometimes you when it doesn't actually hit you until you're in the situation. Yeah. And at that point, you're actually thinking, what do we do was now? Was that the you know? first time you were arrested? Yes, that was the first time, actually, I was being roughed up onto roughed up a onto police a truck, car yeah. and driven to a police station. Mm -hmm. um, and I was actually wearing slippers at that point because I just got into the slippers that were in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Everybody else got into the sandals that were close yes. by and off we went. So, so you we get went, to the station, what yeah, happens We then? get to the station and, you know, there was a whole buzz of activity because of what had been happening uh, throughout the day. Mm. So everyone in there was busy, but then they were so tired. You could tell that they were tired from the way they were talking to us. You know, the officer in charge now said, you guys are really making us do a lot of work and we've already had a long day. Mm -hmm. You're just making it worse for us. Um, so at that point, had they told you why you had been taken in? No, because as soon as we got in, the person who took us in said, these are the people who have been taking pictures the on their, on their okay. phones. Yeah, so right. we were taken into uh, the in charge office. And so he said, switch off all those phones and give them to me and give me your names. So... We gave the phones again. Well, the officer who picked the phones from us gave them to the officer who was in charge at the station. And then he said, um, give me your names. So we gave him our names. Mm -hmm. And then he started asking, so you, what do you do? What do you do? So we all said what we did. So you said you're a journalist. Yes, I said I'm a, I'm and a then journalist. Like, there you um, go. Yeah, so I became a point of interest just because I said I was a journalist. Yes. Um, but then, of course, they were trying to figure out the connection Someone is from Kenya, the other one is from Uganda, the other one works with KCCA, which is Kampala City Council. You know, so they were trying to find the connection, and yeah. that's when I had to explain. My right. introduction was on Saturday, and that's why we're here. So, you know, telling the whole story all over again. And so, as he's trying to figure out what exactly he's going to do, someone else walks in and says, um, switch, switch on those phones, you know, we need to see what kind of the videos, videos they were taking posted. or pictures they posted and stuff. So we switched on the phones and um, 
I, I showed the videos that I had been taken, and one of the officers there said, uh, so this was at about 3 p.m. I said, yes, uh, this was about 3 p.m. So in between there, you know, someone else walks in and says, uh, these are the people who have been circulating all these photographs on social media. Mm. And all of a sudden, he said, you know, just uh, write down their names and lock them up. Mm -hmm. So we were taken back now to the reception where we had to give away all our property, you know, hand Everything. it over, yeah. take off the shoes, and then making sure we didn't have anything v valuable on yes. us. Um, and so it was at that point that I realized I'm actually going to slip in a cell. In a cell. You were the <laughs> yeah. only woman who was arrested at that time? Yes, uh, it was, I was the only female because my uncle and auntie were told to stay behind. Mm -hmm. um, so the cell was open. <laughs> What was and it like? And it was horrible. Mm -hmm. The cell was pretty horrible because I had never been into a place like that. And it was a very tiny room with a ventilator just the size of my hand mm -hmm. and maybe a window that couldn't open. Yeah. So it was so stuffy in there. I could smell it from the entrance. Yeah. Yeah. Very stinky. And, you know, when you get in there, there's no light. There's no candle, nothing. You're just walking into darkness. Yeah. So... I, I hesitated and the lady told me, the lady officer who took me to the cell said, you know, get in. Um, yeah, this, this, this so is So you're it. in the same Walk cell in. with the, uh, with the with males? With the ladies. No, no, oh, no. With the, it just okay. was, uh, the men were taken to the male cell right. and I was taken to the female cell. So it took me quite a number of minutes to notice how many cellmates I was with inside <laughs> the cell. Uh, and then I realized there were four mm -hmm. and all of them are so curious. None of them could even speak English very well. The only thing they could I guess respond to was I'm fine, okay. you know, and so I had to take my time trying to figure out who they so are. So that time, what, what time is that? And do you this have any indication that you know? This is mm -hmm. actually was coming to 10 p.m. Okay. when we were taken into the cells, and so I'm trying to figure out who these people are, right. why they're inside the cell. So after that time, you know, because now I guess when your eyes are so getting into darkness for the first time, you can't exactly see. Yeah. But after a few minutes, you know, you sort of get used to the darkness, then you start to notice a little bit of light coming from the <laughs> ventilation. But this whole time, Joy, are you yeah. mishandled in any way? Did, no, did... at this point, mm -hmm. I wasn't mishandled. But of course, the awards that were being said while we were taking off our shoes and giving up our property, um, you could hear words like, you guys, you know, you, you think you're special, mm -hmm. you know? Um, we could do just like we've done to the rest of them, you know? So you could hear those words mm. coming out of some of the officers. 